what's up guys it's Talha here in this video I'm going to show you how to create sidebox in Revit so this is my third tutorial on this topic and in my last tutorial I showed you how you can create sidebox by using railing but by using that method you cannot create sidewalk ramp in this video I'm going to show you how to create realistic sidewalk and sidewalk ramp in Revit before I get started I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description now let's get started so here I am in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project and now I am going to be using floor to create the sidewalk so let's go here and select floor then edit type duplicate let's call it sidewalk edit and here I'm going here I will just leave this thickness 10 inches because the thickness of this floor is also 10 so we need to put the same here and then let's add a material to this create a new one sidewalk now I'm going to be using an image for the sidewalk material let's change the scale of this to 2 feet click OK and now let's go to level 1 and uh, create a rectangle here let's click here and change the width of this to 5 feet align now click finish and now to create the sidewalk ramp we need to select this floor and then uh, okay so because it's already selected so just go here and click add points so before that we'll create some reference lines here so go to architecture select model line and just draw a line here and then on this side two feet maybe repeat the same on this corner also two feet now select this floor and then go here and click add point first point we need to add here then second on this corner and third one uh, at this two feet here now do the same here also just add three points and then we can go to 3d view you can see if, if I hover over this floor it will show us these points now select this floor and then go here and select modify sub elements select this point and it will give us uh, this uh, text box here if I change this to hidden line you can see so just click on this and we need to put the thickness of this floor here so if you remember the thickness of this floor was 10 inches so we need to put that here but uh, first add a minus 10 inches enter just ignore this warning repeat the same here also click on this point then minus 10 inches and if I change this to realistic there you go we have created this sidewalk ramp now if we create the road here it will look more realistic so let's go back to level 1 and I'm going to be using floor again to create the road so edit type duplicate road so road is already in use so I just add two or three here and then for the road we can put three inches let's apply a material to this also create a new one let's call this road 3 and for this let's use the material from this Revit material library just go to appearance library here and then site work and here I will use this asphalt dark gray load this in now click OK and draw a rectangle here for the road 
on this side we can use align and just align this to this uh, to this floor here and then click on this line let's make it 32 or maybe 35 feet click finish and let's go to 3d you can see we need to change the offset of this floor so just select that and go here and change the height offset to minus 10 inches perfect now to create the curve we will use model in place so let's go here and select model in place and then generic models just call it curve okay and then select sweep pick path and we need to pick the edges of this sidewalk so it's better to change it to hidden line so we can see it clearly pick this line and then this one let's change to wireframe so we can see this line here just hit tab key to uh, select the line of this ramp here so hit tab key click on that then click here now let's create the profile here so first click finish and then select profile or you can just click edit profile here go to this left view here and then draw the profile for the curve maybe seven inches on this side then just draw the rectangle and we can use the line here from the middle of this just join that here then trim now click finish let's see that in 3d we need to finish we need to click finish again so you can see we have created this curve on this sidewalk edge now to make it look more realistic we need to add some voids here so let's do that go back to left view again and then we will use extrusion void extrusion to create the create the cuts to this curve so go to create again and then from this drop down select void extrusion now okay we can we cannot actually draw on this face because the work plane is set to level one so we need to change that just click on set work plane here and then pick a plane okay and then just pick this face of this curve now draw the sketch here like so and then use pick lines and let's give a 0.5 inches offset here and then select this line and then these two now we need to close on this side and then on this side as well trim the extra line here now click finish and go to the top view here or you need to go to site plan to see that void now let's just drag that here and drag on this side and then if we see that in 3d you will see this cut here now we will create more of this by using array so let's go back to site plan again then select this void first click on this lock icon or you can just click on edit work plane and then just dissociate this so we can freely uh, move this later on so just dissociate and then array make sure second is selected here then let's select this corner as the base then click on this corner of this void and then let's try 10 okay we actually need to add more so let's put 25 or maybe 35 
so 35 is perfect so we have three extra here so just select three of these and then ungroup and delete now we'll just mirror this to this side here also so let's go back to site plan again select this one right click select all instances then visible in view now mirror from the middle of this sidewalk edge here like so we actually need to move this perfect so you can see it's looking very realistic but if you zoom in here you can see this sweep is going through this sidewalk edge also so let's use void to delete that create void extrusion and then just draw the rectangle from this corner to this and then finish just use these handles and just take that just take that through the sweep if we change this to wireframe you can see now we need to cut this void so select cut then click on this sweep and then void there you go it's looking very nice now let's apply the material to this first we will apply the bl black material to this curve so select this curve and then go here in the materials just click at this corner here and then we'll create a black material black and then go here appearance and just change this color to black now let's apply the concrete material to this by using paint tool so before that we need to create the material so just go to manage materials and then create a new one again this will be concrete and for this also I will load an image concrete image here let's make it a bit darker click done okay and now go to modify and then select paint just apply to the faces of this curve here at first we need to select the material from this material browser just look for the material which we have just created concrete this one select that and then apply to the faces of this curve on this side as well I miss this one select paint again apply to these faces and there you go by using this method we can easily create the realistic sidewalks or the sidewalk ramp in Revit now let's click finish model and then we will render this in Enscape. So before that, I will just apply the material uh, on this side also on this parking area. This sidewalk material. Now I will just unhide all the components. So just click on this bulb icon, and then right click and hide in view category. So I actually created this scene for the Enscape rendering workflow video which I am going to be uploading soon. So stay tuned for that tutorial if you are interested in. Anyway, let's go to Enscape tab and then click start. So the Enscape is now started and let's uh, change the camera here which I have already saved. Now you can see by using this method we can create 
the realistic sidewalks and sidewalk ramp in Revit so that's it for this tutorial I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video